This, this sounds like political presidential talk to me, and I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? Probably not, but I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. Why would you not? I just don't think I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, I just probably wouldn't do it. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country, how we're, how we're really making other people live like kings, and we're not. Mr. Trump, you've done great things in your life, and I just wonder how do I, as an average person, begin? Yeah. Like, well, first of all, never think of yourself as average. You started off with the wrong question because you're not average. You've got a lot going. I see you're smart. I see you're very beautiful. And you're right against Erin. Look how beautiful she is. But, you know, I don't see any difference. You have to tell yourself that you just have to get that word average out of your vocabulary. And you have to tell yourself that you're great. And you have to believe it. If you can say it and don't believe it, it doesn't matter. So just go out there and work hard. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I've never gone in to lose in my <laughs> life. And, and if I did decide to do it, I think I'd be inclined. I, w I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning, because I think people, I don't know how your audience feels, but I think people are tired of seeing the United States ripped off. And I can't promise you everything, but I can tell you one thing. This country would make one hell of a lot of money from those people that for 25 years have taken advantage. It wouldn't be the way it's been, believe me. Thanks to you, we'll have a president of the United States who will make appointments to the highest court in the land that will uphold the sanctity of life, our Second Amendment, and all the God-given liberties enshrined in the Constitution of the United States. Thanks to you. With your votes, the great citizens of this country declare to the world that from now on, it's going to be America first. America first. The script is not yet written. We do not know what the page will read tomorrow. But for the first time in a long time, what we do know is that the pages will be authored by each and every one of you. You, the incredible American people, will be in charge. Your voice, your desires, your hopes, your aspirations will never again fall on deaf ears. The forgotten men and women, by the way, they're not so forgotten anymore, are they? There is nothing we cannot do. No task is too great, no dream too large, no goal beyond our reach. My message tonight is for all Americans, from all parties, all beliefs, all races, all walks of life. Whether you are African American, Hispanic American, Asian American, we are all Americans, and we are all united by one shared destiny. So I'm asking everyone to join this incredible movement. I'm asking you to dream big again, dream big and bold and daring for your families, for yourself, for your country, big and bold and daring. I'm asking you to believe in yourself, and I'm asking you to believe once again in America. Your voice, your hopes, and your dreams will define our American destiny. And your courage and goodness and love will forever guide us along the way. Together, we will make America strong again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And yes, together, we will make America great again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God.